we have two different things in the church that we take and we remember that Jesus died for us and that He's alive today. This is the one where we remember that Jesus died for us. Remember, it looks kind of like a coffin, doesn't it? And, and when someone dies, we put the coffin down at the front of the church and the body lays underneath the coffin. This reminds us of the death and burial of Jesus Christ. Now, the baptism up in the front, that reminds us of the fact that Jesus is alive. So, what does this remind us of? That Jesus did what for us? He died on the cross for us, okay? So that's why we take this right in here. Now, there's two parts to it. There's a bread. That means that the body, they broke the body of Jesus. They didn't break any bones, but they beat Him up and they whipped Him and all that. That's why we take the bill of cracker. It reminds us that the body of Jesus was broken for us. And then we take the cup, which is a, a red grape juice, and that reminds us that the blood of Jesus was spilt. That they stuck, they beat him, and he bled out, and they stuck a spear in his side to see if he was dead, and water and blood came out there. So that's what this is, to remind us of the death of Jesus. But the reason we get baptized is so that we can remember that Jesus is not dead. Jesus is alive. And that's what baptism reminds us of. Remember how I take and won't you help me right here just a second? Y'all can look and see right here? I take and you put your hand up here on mine. The way we do that is one finger goes up, the other thumb, put the other hand up here. That thumb goes down. Like that. And that gives you a good firm hold. Yeah, I like that. And the idea behind that is that Jesus was uh, killed for us and that He raised to life. Don't let go. That's what Dorothy did. You let go, you stay under the water. And um, so that's important. You want to do it again in practice? Make sure you don't let go. Oh, you did good. And don't let go this time, okay? Oh, very good. See, it works real nice if you do it that way. All right, good. So we have two different ordinances in the church, things that we remember. That's what an ordinance is. It's something that we remember Jesus for. This is for His death, and the baptism is for His what? He came back to life, didn't He? Okay. And we come to life too when we give our life to Jesus. So that's what this is all about. Now, we don't take and take this like food. That's the reason we say to boys and girls, don't take this unless you've been baptized. Because when we, get, when we give our life to Jesus and we get baptized, then we start to in the Lord's Supper and we take. And the baptism is always the first thing that we do. And the second thing we do is we start taking this. So Dorothy this morning will start taking and and doing the Lord's Supper this morning as a new Christian. And that's what it's all about. Okay? Thank you all for helping me explain that this morning. You can go to your classes now, okay? Thank you for coming this morning.